Have you ever felt overwhelmed while crafting your resume for a cybersecurity career transition? You're not alone. Many talented individuals send out their resumes to HR departments only to be met with radio silence. But don't worry because in this video, I'll reveal how you can leverage the power of ChatGPT to supercharge your resume and literally grab the attention of your dream employer. Stay tuned to unlock the secrets to standing out in the competitive world of cybersecurity. Let's get started. Now, I've hesitated to reveal these secrets to the public. Still, with technology advancing so quickly, you as a cybersecurity practitioner must be prepared in this ever-evolving landscape. So let's dive into ChatGPT and show you the prompts or the inputs that you use to optimize your resume and really take it to the next level. Now, first off, it's important to remember that ChatGPT is an incredibly powerful tool, but its effectiveness relies on the information and the instructions you provide it. Garbage in, garbage out. Great stuff in, great stuff out. The more specific and detailed your input, the better and more tailored the output will be. Essentially, the quality of output is directly correlated to the clarity and the precision of your input. And there are a lot of kind of tricks and secrets that we will be getting into, so stay tuned. Now, if you were to type in, my name is Gerald Osher, write me a resume. It's gonna write a resume, right? Pretty generic. And this is actually pretty cool. You can copy and paste this into a Word document pretty quick and just update the applicable values. And this is cool, right? You know, it's got the summary, it's got work experience, some areas for education. This is a very nice standard job resume. The problem is it's really generic and it's not really, you know, tailored for any particular role, any particular industry or anything like that. So. It's fine, but let's take it to the next level, right? I've switched the model to GPT-4 so we can get the newest model that GPT has made. And we're gonna go ahead and use the input. Can you take the following information, paste the whole resume here, and update my resume to emphasize my skills and experience related to the cybersecurity field? I want to become a SOC analyst, okay? I want to point out here a couple of things. One, we're feeding it data, so there's new data which is going to be the resume, and we'll get into that in a minute. We're asking it to do a very specific function, update the resume. Specifically, when you're updating it, make sure it's emphasizing skills and experience related to cybersecurity, and I wanna become a SOC analyst. Now, I wanna thank Dan Reardon, AKA Haircut Fish, for donating his resume for this live demo. Now, as a you know, cybersecurity professional, as a hiring manager, as somebody who's worked in the industry for a while, I've looked at many resumes. And if I was to manually roast this, boom, roast it. You could point out right away, like, okay, this is fine, but usually there's like a summary or an objective right at the top, kind of your hook of why I should read the rest of your resume. Dan is missing that. Boom, roasted. Uh, he's got, you know, I guess this is socials, but if, you know, I'm relatively young, <laughs> relatively old, depending on your perspective, but uh, a lot of older people aren't gonna know what a link tree is. So this may not be obvious that this is his actual socials, so you can contact him. He's targeting a SOC analyst position. Um, and then he dives right into tools and programs used. So this is very much um, for application tracking systems, I would assume. So there's a lot of opportunity here to improve. So let's go ahead and take Dan's resume, literally just copy it and paste it, just dump it right in here. And I'm gonna hit enter. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, so GPT-4 has finished taking Dan's resume and rewriting it specifically for emphasizing his skills and his ability to be a SOC analyst. That's the job he's going for. I've gone ahead and copied and pasted it into Word so we can see it a little bit better. There's still some placeholders here, which is totally fine. You update it. Uh, now, I would say this is a lot of real estate for your socials, so I would just kind of lay that across the top. But you can see now ChatGPT has actually added an objective. Uh, the objective reads, highly motivated and skilled IT professional targeting a SOC analyst position with extensive experience in a variety of tools and programs, possessing a strong foundation in threat and vulnerability management, SecOps, monitoring, and IR and forensics. He's got a social there. Now let's just take a second look at this objective, okay? Because this is critical um, and really, really valuable. Dan's original had no objective, which was a major problem. And when you look at it here, it actually takes in all these things. Extensive experience with a variety of cybersecurity tools. That's what this is right here. Targeting a SOC analyst position. That's this part right up here, right? 
It's it's taking his words. It's not creating, you know, hallucinations or doing something else. It's literally kind of reformatting and, and calling out the important things that matter for this particular item. Possessing a strong foundation in TVM, SecOps and monitoring and IR and forensics. Well, let's take a look. Um, here's security manager. He's got forensics tools in his description. He's done cyber defense learning path, right? These things all map to SecOps and IR, forensics, etc. So this is a totally accurate, honest objective. And I would argue it adds a lot of value and richness to Dan's resume. Even if Dan just took this objective and put it into this existing resume, and with all due respect, Dan, it, it, it would instantly one up or, up, you know, plus plus this resume unto itself. Let's see what else it's got in here. It's got his socials. It does say link. Um, again, I would probably incorporate that up here with the contact information. I always like to put the contact up front because it's just like, we all know it's like, if you want to follow up, here's the deal. All right, so they move into technical skills. He's got all his tools that he's mentioned. They've broken it out into tools, languages. So there's like a little bit of uh, categorization there. Then his professional experience. And so Dan wrote it kind of as bullet points using pipes to separate them. Um, this one says provide clear, concise written communication, troubleshooting related to cloud compute instances. So one of the things it's doing is starting the bullets with action verbs, which is powerful because it's showing what the impact was of the responsibility he had in that role. That's a best practice when you're writing resumes. It continues on and goes on to his volunteer experience. Very good. Besides charm, love it, love it, love it. He also was there in 2023. And you know, this is this is really nice. So Really quickly, you can see already that ChatGPT in a matter of two minutes has leveled up his resume and it can level up your resume too. So let's let's continue to dig into ChatGPT and see what other kind of value we can mine out of it. So let's ask it, could you review my resume and suggest improvements for a summary or objective? Let's ask that, right? So I, I just like loved all about the resume objective that it popped out, but let's say if we can ask it to suggest improvements. And this is real time, not even edited. So Detail oriented, dedicated cyber pro with a proven track record in IT support, seeking a challenging SOC analyst, uh, proficient in a wide range, adapt at learning new technologies. This is good. It even gives you a couple different options. That's a really nice, powerful choice. So instead of spending time racking your brain, trying to figure out what's the best way to wordsmith this, you can literally just in a matter of, this was 15, 20 seconds, right? Take these two things, copy paste them, put them in your resume, right? Put them in your existing resume and then look at them and read them. Listen, it's way easier to take an existing piece of text and wordsmith it and mine it and, and modify it and adjust it to really be your voice and represent you truly. But having to generate the original draft, that takes a long time and chat GPT, Go ahead, that's the shortcut. Now, let me tell you what I think about this objective. Uh, I think they're both good. This one is a summary, one important distinction, right? So you can have a summary or an objective. Summary is typically what you've done and what you wanna do. Objective is what you wanna do, okay? Dan's objective could be to obtain a SOC analyst position that leverages his extensive experience in IT, proficiency in a wide range of tools. Oh, and it even goes to tell you that you can use either depending on your preference, right? And it gives you an explanation of which each is, which is what I just did. So there you go, chat GPT for the win. All right, let's keep digging into this thing. Let's ask ChatGPT, could you rewrite my resume so that it's optimized for both a hiring manager and an HR manager? I wanna be able to stand out, be impactful and results oriented. One of the things that you may not know about ChatGPT is you can tell it what perspective to take, how to respond. What do I mean by this? You can tell it, you're an HR manager, review my resume. You're a cyber recruiter, review my resume. You're a chief information security officer, review my resume. You're a sixth greater review my resume you're an application tracking system review my resume and provide feedback it doesn't have to be a person that you tell it to be you can tell it to be an excel worksheet if you want this thing's quite powerful so don't be shy to think about who's going to consume your resume and then tell ChatGPT to take that persona i'm going to go ahead and run this query and we'll see it's dumping out a new resume results driven dedicated cyber pro proven track record 
This is probably, yeah, see highly motivated skilled. So it's not exactly the same exact one, but this one is written for a hiring manager to consume, which is perfect, right? Because that's who you really want to consume the resume. One of the biggest roadblocks I see is that HR or hiring managers won't even look at or read a resume unless it's catered directly towards them. It's almost like you need a resume for the chief information security officer, resume for the HR manager, resume for the hiring manager. And if you don't have everything in one nicely packaged that applies to all these audiences, you might not even be considered for the job. So going back and looking at the chat GPT for where we told it to cater it for the hiring manager, you can see it's still generating, but I want to look at this results driven, dedicated cyber pro proven track record, challenging SOC analyst position. Uh, I do like this. It's, it's showing initiative. It's, it's showing uh, drive proficiency in a wide range of tools. Again, don't lie on your resume, right? Like if you're not proficient in a wide range of tools, you may want to change that verbiage to experience with a wide range of tools or something like that. Proficiency kind of indicates a very specific skill level. Committed to contributing to a dynamic team and enhancing the org security posture. Effective communication. So it touches on hard skills. It touches on soft skills. Then it goes into the different uh, technical skills and tooling that it can use. So obviously Dan's wanting to be a SOC analyst. So you can see there's an emphasis uh, on SOC related tooling. Uh, Splunk being the first one, which is a popular SIM. Um, Sys Internals, Yara, uh, Nessus. These are mostly uh, SOC analyst tools. Now I haven't done a crosswalk to see if it actually removed some security tools that were not specifically SOC analyst, but many of these tools, Rita, Velociraptor, SOC analyst tools, OS Query. Now Metasploit is not, LinPs is not, uh, Burp Suite is not really, but my point is there are a lot of SOC analyst tools in here that are going to you know, hit the ATS and hit the probably the uh, SOC manager or the director of the SecOps team would be the one looking at this for Dan's employment. Now, if you've made it this far, I want to let you know that I have a secret at the end of the video that no one else is going to tell you about. What? You think I'm going to share this right now? Stick around to the end of the video and don't skip forward, okay? Don't hit the 30 second forward, 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 forward. Hey, come back here. All right, well, if you didn't skip ahead and you're still here, let's input into ChatGPT what it's already done and optimize it further, right? So just what it gives you the first time doesn't mean that's what you have to take. So going back to ChatGPT4, you can see I'm gonna ask it, what would you do if you were to reorganize and optimize my resume? Could you explain what changes you made at the end and why? So now you're not only getting an output and a product of the resume refactoring, but you're actually getting an understanding and an appreciation for why it did. This is effectively a resume coach. So in most prompts where you ask it to optimize or reorganize for a specific audience, the actual you know competencies and technical abilities that are in the resume don't really change. They're just organized in a way that are explicitly intended to quickly capture the attention of whoever that audience is, whether it's a hiring manager or an HR manager, to make it easier for them to see the potential of you as a SOC analyst candidate in this case, but you could say GRC analyst, pen tester, whatever. The point is it's like a little bit of social engineering where you're modifying it and, and adjusting it to target that specific audience perfectly. Now, obviously, as you can see, um, you can copy and paste this into your resume and it's going to give you you know, 90% of the way there. You'll have to fill out some boilerplate stuff. I'd also recommend, you know, collapsing this all onto one line, making it look good. But I would say like 95% of your effort is already achieved by leveraging ChatGPT to take your existing resume and really refine it and make it look better. Remember that secret I mentioned earlier that you were gonna stay tuned for? Well, let's give those that skipped ahead a warm welcome. Hey there, you cheeky skipper. You you definitely just skipped ahead, didn't you, to get to this part. That's all right, you fast forwarded to find the secret and that's okay. Okay, here's a fun little joke for you instead, okay? Why don't cybersecurity experts ever get locked out of their house? Hmm? Because they always carry around a spare key logger. <laughs> All right, well, just a little fun joke there. Remember, good things come to those who wait, so watch the whole video for the actual real secret. But in all seriousness, folks, there is a program that nearly every single HR department uses that screens your resume before a real person even sees it. That is called an applicant tracking system, or some people refer to it as ATS. These things are used at large companies because if they're getting thousands and thousands of resumes, they can't expect a human to go through it very quickly, right? And honestly, this is why you might have been ghosted multiple times or never heard back from an employer. It's because the ATS said, nope, and they just went on to the next people. It's not fair to you, but it's the reality of what's happening. And unfortunately, it's why most applications fall flat on their face before they're even given a chance. Like literally, you're probably doing good work and have a solid resume and it's just formatted incorrectly and it's getting picked off by the ATS. Now, I haven't tried this 
this myself and I am actually trying to work with my good man Joe Hudson to get a resume before and after ChatGPT to see how it performs in an ATS system. So stay tuned for that. I'll probably put it out as a short. Let's just say I'm going to type, can you take this resume and optimize it for an application tracking system to bring it to the top of the list? Really optimize it. Let's see what ChatGPT says. While ChatGPT is doing this, I want to let everybody know for the month of May 2023 and the early part of June, I'll actually be coming out with a video every week that will be focused on helping you land a job in cybersecurity. And the entire theme gives you the knowledge you wouldn't normally find specifically for cybersecurity. I'll show you how to leverage ChatGPT to find a job, write a cover letter specifically for that job, then I'll go through some of the more interview questions for you guys. You can have ChatGPT give you a, a, a practice interview. And finally, I'll help you write a thank you letter for an interview to make you look like a true professional. There's so much I'm excited for this month and early part of next month. Maybe I'll even bring up negotiating a larger salary and let's have ChatGPT get us an extra 10% on our salary or a, a signing bonus or something like that. All right, let's get back to ChatGPT. Okay, ChatGPT is done optimizing the resume for application tracking systems. Now, now, what GPT has actually done is look for common keywords that ATS systems would actually look for. And let's take a look here. You can actually see ChatGPT gave us a breakdown on what changes it made for the optimization. It simplified the formatting, removing special characters, bold, italics, underline to ensure ATS can read the text properly. This is actually a really uh, interesting thing. Like some resumes look beautiful when there's a picture of the candidate and they use all sorts of columns and they have emojis all over the place. Unfortunately, ATS choke and puke on that and then just throw your resume away, which sucks because you're kind of showing personality, but the ATS doesn't care. Also, the resume was changed to have headings to standard terminology like professional experience, training inserts, which ATS systems are trained to look for. It removed any type of vertical structuring, which I think was at the top. You could see it's, you know, it was already shaping it kind of in the right way with the header and then the sub bullets, technical skills, not massive changes, but it is a modification that only took a minute to do cost absolutely nothing. And you're able to make your resume go through an automated process a little bit faster and get a little bit more opportunity and luck that you get picked up by ATS and actually sent to a human to review. Okay, now time for the secret that I promised. You can use ChatGPT to write a great cover letter very, very quickly. Again, this whole month is gonna be all about ChatGPT helping you launch your cybersecurity career further, faster. Right here, I've got just some random SOC 1 analyst job I found. Look at this, no degree, full-time, PTO, dental insurance. That sounds pretty good. Let's jump back over into ChatGPT and say, based on my resume for a SOC analyst, write me a cover letter based on the following job description, right? And then we're just gonna literally just copy and paste the job description that I just took off that website. ChatGPT4 is gonna go ahead and knock this out for us. Meanwhile, you can go get some tacos, go get a beer, hang out, feel great that right now you're actually writing your cover letter. You're just getting a little bit of an assistance from your assistant, ChatGPT4. Look at this, we've taken the job that we wanted and we've already got a great resume developed in part with ChatGPT, we can go ahead and say, give us this cover letter. This is an excellent cover letter, which by the way, actually takes into account Dan's resume and experience, right? Calling back on previous experience. So it's a very tailored specific resume uh, cover letter and it's a full page long. And you can even go as far as to say, if you really wanted to, you could save a prompt off and say, my name is Dan Reardon. My address is whatever. My city, state, and zip is whatever. My phone number is whatever. Write me a cover letter that does this and it'll actually populate that. So you don't even have to be bothered with updating these placeholders every single time if you just do it the first time. Very powerful stuff. That's it for me. I hope you got value out of this. Go look at the prompts that I wrote. I'll add some prompts in the description below so you can kind of play with them if you want. Remember, the more detail you can provide it, the perspective you want it to do, what role you're going for, what experience you want, what areas you want to focus on. It's the better the feedback that ChatGPT will give you out. Garbage in, garbage out, good content in, good content out. Don't forget to take advantage of it. Let me know in the comments if you use ChatGPT, if it's helped you stand out, if you've noticed an increase in responses to your resume submissions, I'd love to hear it. Until next time, I'm Jerry from Simply Cyber. Stay secure.